Hey guys, welcome back to Fight Ace channel. Oscar De La Hoya takes swipe at Jake Paul over Mike Tyson fight. De La Hoya criticizes it, Jake Paul over controversial clash with Tyson. De La Hoya had some harsh words for Paul about his July meeting with Tyson. Former world champion wants to see the YouTube sensation take a more traditional approach to boxing. De La Hoya doesn't believe longtime boxing fans will ever respect Paul. Jake Paul has come under fire from Oscar De La Hoya by opting to fight Happy Way legend Mike Tyson. The YouTube sensation was accused by the former world champion of supposedly not being serious enough about a sport which has that exactly welcomed him with open arms since he blew onto the professional scene in an unorthodox fashion in 2020. A fighter who has caused mixed emotion ever since he first laced up the gloves, the 27-year-old has dedicated himself to learning the tweet science, consistently looking to work on his technical ability and improve his skill set. If nothing else, Paul has embraced the sport in a way that few of his YouTube boxing peers can match. However, it's still highly questionable whether he should be sharing the ring with a man three decades his elder in Tyson. But that's exactly what he plans to do on the 20th of July in Dallas, Texas. De La Hoya joined the ever-growing list of professional fighters to take issue with the contest during a recent appearance on the MMA Hour despite admitting that he is actually a fan of what Paul has done for the sport of boxing in general over the past few years. De La Hoya hits out at Jake Paul over Mike Tyson clash. The golden boy is not a fan of the fight. I actually like Jake Paul for what he is doing and the attention he is bringing to the sport, but he also talks about being a world champion and uh, take it seriously. Well, this is not serious fighting Mike Tyson. The 51-year-old continued, yes, I can understand it's a lot of money, it's going to attract a lot of eyeballs. The only critic you I have for Jake Paul is that if you want to take the sport seriously, then take the road world champion take. Fighting top 20, top 10, top 5 opponents and eventually becoming the mandatory to the world champion. That's how you do it, that's how you gain the respect from the fight fans. Not fighting Tyson. The boat at AT&T Stadium is set to be streamed on Netflix and seems sure to attract millions of youths from around the world, boosting the global reach of the sport. However, many have dismissed the fight as a joke, including Paul's long-time rival KSI. The British social media star poked fun at the fight by announcing a clash between himself and George Foreman as an April Fool's Day joke which was allegedly set to see no judges, 5 second rounds, 150 ounce gloves, no knockouts and importantly, no punching allowed. This is the sort of mockery that De La Hoya wants boxing to avoid. His passion for the sport he promotes is obvious, but boxing also exists to entertain. And Paul is an entertainer at heart. It might not be an in-ring classic, but Tyson and Paul will both enter the ring looking to create the biggest spectacle possible for their fans. Fans divided as the Mike Tyson training footage goes viral before Jake Paul fight. Worried boxing fans have said Mike Tyson's latest training video is honestly so sad to watch. Of his fight with Jake Paul. Tyson vs. Paul was confirmed last month ahead of their ball taking place on July 20th. The one of a kind event will be streamed on Netflix in a first for the platform. There is a stark 30 year age difference between Tyson 57 and Paul 27. Tyson, one of the most legendary figures in the history of boxing, will turn 58 two weeks before the fight takes place and his latest training clip has caused concern for fans that think he is too old to get back into the ring. Tyson was seen in spring training as he looks to develop his explosive power for the bolt, but it's fair to say he wasn't looking the quickest in the clip uploaded to social media. He captioned his post, I'm coming for you, Paul. One concerned fan wrote, no one should be fighting at 58, I don't like this. Another said, this doesn't look good, a third fan wrote, this is honestly so sad to watch. But some fans were more positive, with one writing, yes, go get him, and another replied, 
Mike Tyson will be 58 year old June 30. He is still the best to ever step in the ring. Tyson most recently thought in 2020 in an exhibition about with Roy Jones Jr. His last professional fight was in 2005, when he retired at age 39. Thanks for watching, guys. If you like this video, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.